Color Cord Company offers a variety of shades that are compatible with our fixtures from shade ready to fixed assemblies or necklace versions. But many times customers have shades from other sources, maybe vintage styles that need to be rewired or are looking to create fixtures using their handmade shade designs. If you find yourself with a shade outside of our online options, we have solutions for you. This video will guide you through a variety of shade openings and which Color Cord Company sockets and fixtures will work for you. First, we'll take a look at the Eurofitter, a 1 and 5 8 inch shade opening. This is one of the more popular shade sizes out there and is the main style of shade that Color Cord Company carries and is compatible with majority of our sockets. Our extended thread sockets, shade ready sockets, and AIO socket kits are compatible with 1 and 5 8 inch shade openings. Now, there are a couple different variations of how you can use our sockets with this size shade, and we'll go through each of them one by one, starting with an extended thread socket with a half cap socket cover. The bottom of the socket cover acts as a lip that goes flush against the top of your Eurofitter shade opening, and you use the socket ring underneath to secure the shade in place. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with our extended thread socket without a socket cover. We'll also have to use an extra socket ring to act as the upper lip of the socket, like we showed you earlier with the half cap socket cover assembly. The difference is, because there's no socket cover, we have more flexibility with how high or low the bottom of the socket and light bulb will sit in the shade. As you can see here, it's easy to adjust the socket height by using the full range of the extended threading. Threading the rings on towards the bottom of the shade allows the socket and the bulb to sit high in the shade. And threading the rings on towards the top of the shade allows the socket and bulb to sit low in the shade. Next we'll apply the shade to our AIO socket kit, which for the 1 and 5 8 inch opening you can use the AIO with or without the spacer rings. However, we personally prefer the finished look of the included spacer rings and it makes it a bit more secure around the lip of the shade, especially if you're working with heavy glass or ceramic. Remove the socket bottom and normal spacer ring, then loosen the socket top to expose more of the extended threading. Loosening the socket top helps account for the additional space the shade takes up and therefore creates more exposed threading for reapplying the socket bottom. You can adjust this accordingly to your personal preference. Make sure to use both of the provided silicone rings on each side of the shade between the metal rings to help further secure and not damage the glass or ceramic. Thread back on the socket bottom. The last example of our socket compatibility with the 1 and 5 8 inch Eurofitter shade opening is our shade ready socket. The socket is assembled onto a shade with the same principle as our socket with half cap socket cover option. But the difference is, is that the shade ready socket itself has a lip with no extended threading. The lip goes flush against the top of the shade and the socket ring secures the shade in place from underneath. Next, we'll check out the one and one half inch Uno fitter shade opening and which of our sockets work best. Uno fitter shades have a one and one half inch shade opening, so it's a bit smaller than the more common Euro fitter. You will find that our twist socket with ring and metallic socket with rings work best for Uno shade openings. The rings for both style sockets are used in a very similar way as the previous chapter shows. The twist socket is a smaller version of the shade ready socket with the same type of lip towards the top of the socket that sits flush with the top of the shade opening. And for the metallic, while you don't get the full extended threading, you can use the two provided rings to adjust how high or low the bottom of the socket sits in the shade. So the twist socket with ring is the same concept as the larger shade ready socket from the previous chapter. Remove the socket ring and send the bottom of the socket through the top of the shade opening until the lip rests flush against the top of the shade. The socket ring then secures the shade in place from underneath. For the metallic socket with rings, it's the same concept as the extended threads. You're provided with two rings so you can adjust how high or low you'd like the socket and bulb to rest inside the shade. Now we'll quickly go over the 7 16 of an inch shade opening, which is considered a fixed shade. The 7 16 of an inch shade opening is the perfect situation for our fixed shade hardware kits. You will use the individual pieces to secure or fix the socket and shade in place. So in this scenario, you won't be able to use rings or threading to adjust socket and bulb height. 
If your glass, ceramic, or fabric shade situation falls under this category, please follow the link above to our step-by-step -step video on how to assemble a fixed shade hardware kit. In this chapter, we'll take a look at the one and one quarter inch undersized shades and how to handle this situation with a couple of our different products. For a one and one quarter inch shade opening, you can use our E12 extended threads with ring and an additional second ring, depending on how you prefer the shade to rest. Use two rings with the extended threads to give you full range of where the socket sits in the shade and you get sandwich support from both sides. You also have the option to just use one socket ring. You can set it at the desired height in the shade and then thread the socket ring on from the bottom so your shade rests comfortably on the socket ring, but it won't be secured with a top ring. Another option is to purchase one of our flat top plug-in pendants if you don't already have one and slide the plug-in through the bottom of your shade and rest the shade on top of the flat top socket. Please note in this scenario that the shade needs to carry a bit of weight so it will balance evenly on the pendant. In the last chapter, we'll show you sockets that work for a 1 and 7 8 inch oversized shade. With any shade opening sized above the 1 and 5 8 Eurofitter style, it is required to use both shade rings with our extended thread and AIO socket kits. Both shade rings have an outer diameter of over 2 inches, which is perfect for an oversized shade like this. For the AIO socket kit, remove the socket bottom and normal size spacer ring. Then use both silicone and both metal spacers on each side of the shade to ensure full support of an oversized shade opening. Then thread back on the socket bottom. Same principle goes for the extended threads using two rings. Feed the socket through the top of the shade where one ring on top acts as the lip of the socket and thread on the other ring onto the socket from underneath the shade. We hope this video helps determine what's needed for your specific shade scenario. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions. We're happy to help.